this AI powered video surveillance system can detect intruders, recognize their faces, and send you notifications immediately. And the best part is, it is open source. This system was developed by me for my final year project, and all parts of the software were developed using open source libraries. It took me three months to develop and test the whole system. This system consists of three different parts. The first one, web server. This server is responsible to serve the web application and handle API requests from the front end of the web and also from the video surveillance, which in this case, a Raspberry Pi. This server is also responsible for handling any notification sent by the surveillance system to the user. The second one, streaming server. This is the most difficult part of the project because it requires me to handle the video streaming from the video surveillance to the server. And then the server needs to process the video before storing it on GCP bucket. The third one, video surveillance. A Raspberry Pi 4B acts as the video surveillance in this project. There are two different deep learning models run on this Raspberry Pi, Efficient Dead and MobileNet. Efficient Dead is responsible for detecting human beings and MobileNet is responsible to recognize whether the detected person is the house owner, which in this case me, or an intruder. There are three main parts of the web application live, playback, and event. The live page will show the live footage of the surveillance camera. Meanwhile, playback will serve the user with recorded footage from different days. And the event page is the key feature of this web application which serves playback of specific chunks when intruder detected. What makes this system interesting is Users can install the application on many different devices as if it is a native app. This is possible thanks to the existence of Progressive Web App or what we call as PWA. This was a long journey for me. Some parts of me feel happy about the end product but some feel disappointed because I think I can do better. But the most important thing here is it is now open source and I hope other developers can learn something from this project.